the Tiger Cat hydrostatic drive demonstrator. This apparatus incorporates the same types of hydraulic components that we find in Tiger Cat hydrostatic skitters and drive to tree feller bunchers. These primary components are a variable displacement piston pump, a variable displacement bent axis motor, a drive pedal assembly, and a low pressure inline hydraulic oil filter. Here are the fundamental building blocks of a hydrostatic transmission. We will see that the principles governing the function and control of the hydrostatic demonstrator are embodied in TigerCat's reliable and smooth running skidders and wheeled feller bunchers. Now let's take a closer look at TigerCat's hydrostatic drive demonstrator. The hydrostatic demonstrator is fitted with a proportional double pedal drive control valve. One pedal directs forward machine travel while the other directs reverse travel exactly as we find in Tiger Cat skidders and wheeled feller bunchers. The foot pedal valve transmits hydraulic signals to the variable displacement hydraulic pump. The pump, in turn, is connected to the variable displacement hydraulic motor. An inline filter is included to clean oil as it recycles into the pump through the charge circuit. Finally, we have fitted a manually activated disc brake to simulate a load. As we apply the brake, we can see the internal components of the motor respond. This system, composed of hydraulic pump, motor, controls, and filtration element, is referred to as a hydrostatic transmission. All of the components are connected in a closed loop hydraulic circuit. This means the oil in the system is constantly cycled from the pump to the motor and back again. We can compare this arrangement to an open loop hydraulic system where oil flows back to tank before re-entering the circuit. When pressing or releasing the foot pedal we are altering the displacement of the hydraulic pump and motor. Displacement is the volume of oil that passes through the pump in a single revolution. This quantity of oil is measured in cubic units per revolution. When the operator presses the foot pedal, a hydraulic message is transmitted to the pump's internal controls. These controls set the angle, or stroke, of the pump's variable swash plate. The angle of the swash plate determines the displacement of the pump. Changing the swash plate angle alters the relative volumes of the pistons as the cylinder block rotates. As with any pump in a closed loop system, our drive pump is equipped with a charge pump. The charge pump performs three essential functions in the hydrostatic system. It replaces oil loss to lubrication and internal leakage. It supplies pilot oil pressure for control purposes. And it cycles cooling oil through the main pump and motor. Recall that when pressure is applied to the control pedal, the swash plate strokes out of the neutral position by a few degrees. As the pedal is pressed further, the swash plate strokes to a greater degree increasing the pump's displacement. This output flow is defined as displacement multiplied by revolutions per minute. We see from this mathematical expression that flow rate increases as displacement increases. On the Tiger Cat hydrostatic demonstrator, the pump reaches maximum displacement when the control pedal is depressed by about one-third. The process is similar when traveling in reverse, except that the swash plate strokes in the opposite direction. We might now ask where the oil is going as it leaves the pump. Let's look at the hydrostatic demonstrator. We see that the oil is flowing from the pump to the motor. The motor converts this hydraulic energy into mechanical energy, which will drive the machine's wheels. On the demonstrator, a brake disc functions as our drive wheel. We mentioned earlier that the pump is at full stroke after the control pedal is pressed by approximately one-third. But what about the final two-thirds of the pedal's range? The final two-thirds of foot pedal travel provide precise control of the drive motor displacement angle. Note that the hydraulic pump and motor function on the same principle of variable displacement. In both components, we vary displacement by changing the relative volumes of the pistons in the cylinder block while it is rotating. However, 
This effect is achieved differently in the motor than it is in the pump. In the case of the bent axis motor, we speak not of swash angle, but rather of displacement angle. This is because the bent axis motor does not actually contain a variable swash plate. Instead, we vary the displacement of the motor pistons by shifting the angle of the entire cylinder block relative to the motor shaft. To achieve this motion, the motor cylinder block is coupled to a lens plate. The lens plate rides on a cradle machined into the motor port plate, which is bolted to the end of the motor case. As the lens plate rides back and forth on the cradle, the angle between the pistons and the motor shaft changes. The hydraulic motor displacement angle determines the speed and torque delivered to the drivetrain at a given level of engine horsepower. We can think of torque as a rotational force exerted on the drivetrain, or we can imagine it more simply as a twisting force placed on a bolt with a wrench. Horsepower equals torque multiplied by speed. At a given level of horsepower, we can have more torque and less speed, or greater speed and less torque. However, we cannot have more speed and more torque because our supply of horsepower is finite. It is limited by the diesel engine in the machine. Note that in the demonstrator, an electric motor serves as our engine. As we reduce the motor displacement angle, less fluid is displaced per revolution and the motor turns faster. Motor speed increases but torque decreases. If we increase the motor displacement angle, the motor speed drops, but more torque is delivered to the drivetrain. This additional torque may be required if a machine is climbing a slope or pulling a heavy load. We can see from the TigerCat hydrostatic demonstrator that the operator of a hydrostatic machine easily controls travel speed in forward or reverse simply by pressing the drive pedal. But if the operator controls ground speed with the drive pedal, who or what regulates the torque supplied to the drivetrain? Suppose a skidder encounters a steep hill or soft terrain. If it were a mechanically driven machine, the operator would have to regulate the level of torque supplied to the drive wheels by shifting gears. This requires some guesswork from the operator. However, in TigerCat's hydrostatic machines, the drive motor automatically adjusts to a greater displacement angle, an action that increases torque. The machine continues to travel uphill without sudden jerking or loss of momentum. Should the machine crest a hill and proceed down a grade, the inherent dynamic braking effect of the hydrostatic drive eliminates the need for manual braking in most situations. The hydrostatic drive is protected at maximum load by the pressure override system. The pressure override allows high pressure to be maintained without damaging the components or generating excessive heat. Relief valves are included as a fast acting safety feature should the pressure override not react quickly enough. Changing direction from forward to reverse can be performed instantaneously without damaging the drivetrain or transmission. In fact, both pedals can be pressed at once with no adverse effect. The long service life of hydrostatic components is dependent upon three major factors. The cleanliness of hydraulic fluid. This is ensured by regular filter changes. The use of proper hydraulic fluid. Your service manual lists the recommended types and brands. And prevention of overheating. The machine must not be allowed to run at excessive hydraulic oil temperatures. Regular filter changes are critical to machine maintenance. From the outside, one oil filter looks much like any other. To determine the true quality of a filter, we must look inside. Lower quality filter elements are constructed of unsupported cellulose media. This is a flexible cardboard-like material. Cellulose filter surfaces are inconsistent at the microscopic level and tend to interrupt natural oil flow to an undesirable degree. And because the cellulose filter element is not supported with rigid material, a collapse and resulting flow blockage is possible. TigerCat's synthetic filters are designed to provide more efficient filtration than cellulose types. 
Unlike some of their counterparts, Tiger Cat filter elements are supported with a rigid mesh material, reducing the possibility of internal collapse and potential flow blockage. Choosing the best filter is extremely important. Low quality filters actually increase oil contamination. Oil coolers and radiators should be well maintained to ensure that adequate heat exchange occurs. Radiators must be filled with proper coolant, not dirty water obtained from streams or ponds. Now that we understand how a hydrostatic transmission works, we are left with some practical questions. Why is a hydrostatic transmission useful? How does a hydrostatic drive make a more productive skitter? A hydrostatic machine is very easy to control and maneuver because the operator has an infinite range of speed ratios available. He can speed up, slow down, or change direction quickly and easily at the touch of a pedal. No gear shifting is required. This fine hydrostatic control reduces operator fatigue and makes logging safer. The hydrostatic machine runs smoothly uphill or through difficult terrain. When horsepower reaches a maximum, the drive motors adjust themselves to offer increased torque. This response prevents wheel spin, reduces sight disturbance, and increases tire life. A hydrostatic skidder is easy to operate and friendly to the environment. Machine travel stops automatically as the drive pedal is released. We refer to this effect as hydrostatic braking. Hydrostatic braking virtually eliminates the need for conventional brake maintenance and reduces the risk of freewheeling. An important safety consideration when operating around other equipment in the woods or at the landing site. Recall that wheel speed is controlled with the drive pedals. However, the engine runs at a constant throttle speed set by the operator regardless of wheel speed. Constant engine speed translates to longer engine and component life. Full hydraulic power is always available for all machine functions. The hydrostatic design permits flexibility in engine orientation since there is no mechanical drive shaft between the engine and drive motors. Unlike a mechanical drive shaft, hydraulic hoses are flexible. This flexibility allows a hydraulic motor to be situated anywhere in the machine. Tiger Cat's reversed engine orientation offers several benefits. The main pumps are located at the front of the skidder for easy access. The weight of the engine and pumps is distributed closer to the front of the skidder, improving performance and overall stability. The heat exchangers and fan are well protected just forward of the cab. Cool air is filtered through inlet screens before reaching the heat exchangers and engine. The Tiger Cat Hydrostatic Demonstrator. This simple device incorporates the fundamental components of a hydrostatic transmission. Variable displacement pump and motor, control pedal and filter. These are the building blocks that help us achieve infinitely variable speed control, fine maneuverability, dynamic braking, maximum power across speed range, increased engine life, better layout and weight distribution, reduced sight disturbance, ease of serviceability. Hydrostatic drive technology working for you in the woods. Tiger Cat, tough, reliable, productive.